Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Anna, aka Brooke Willow, and today I'm styling my knitwear for fall. In my last video, I asked if you would be interested in me doing a styling video, and a lot of you said yes. So that's why I'm making one today. Hopefully I can inspire you all to think of different outfits for your knitwear, but also I wanted to be able to plan some new outfits for myself this season as well. And I should preface by saying if you're new here, these are all hand knit pieces. I made them myself using different patterns available online. I'm not going to go too far into depth with the yarn I used or how it was constructed. I do have past podcast videos about that and then I'll have a future one for the new pieces that I'm showing you today as well. I also wanted to challenge myself by not including any denim pieces into these outfits because as we all know, a good pair of jeans looks good with just about everything. So I really wanted to think outside of the box and create new outfits not using denim because again, it's just easy to throw denim in a sweater together. I also created a new mood board for the fall season. I really like to make these every season or sometimes even twice a season to kind of inspire the outfits that I am creating. This mood board is very like extreme fall. I didn't really think too much outside of the box when it came to it, but that's just what I'm really feeling this season is just classic fall patterns and colors. The colors that I have here I am really vibing with. So like the dark pine green, the kind of brownish burgundy color, and that just classic tan that goes with just about everything. As well as the patterns, I am a big sucker for plaid and you'll see that in some of these outfits today. But what I'm really loving this season is the pops of burgundy accessories. Burgundy is like a huge color this season and rather than just buying one garment that you can only wear a couple times, I think it's cool how I'm seeing a lot of shoes and purses that you can wear with every outfit to incorporate that color into it. I also am loving just hand knit socks. I feel like the fall season is great for socks and that just goes natural with every single outfit. But I'm also liking the Sherpa coat with like the suede outer layer and Sherpa on the inner. I have an old coat that I've had for many years that seems to just always stay in style. So I'm really excited that I can include that in some of these outfits as well. I have five different outfits to show you today, all using five different knitwear pieces. They all are great for grabbing coffee with a friend, going to work, or even dinner at night. So without further ado, let's jump into outfit number one. This first outfit is featuring all new pieces that I have finished within the last couple of weeks. The main one being the sweater here, and this is the Ripped Lace Raglan by James and Watts. This is a piece that I was intending to knit myself for pre-fall, but I just finished it last week and now it's fall, so I decided to warm it up by adding some layering pieces underneath, and that is this white turtleneck that I got from H&M. It's just a really lightweight jersey turtleneck. I really like getting these types of turtlenecks to wear under knitwear because it doesn't add too much bulk, but it gives that nice layered look and adds just a little bit extra warmth, which is what I needed. And then as you can see on my head, I have that pop of burgundy that I've been talking about that I absolutely love. This is the Manhattan Hat Bulky by Tori Yu, and I've already gotten so much use out of it. It is super quick to knit up as well because it uses bulky weight yarn, and I think I made this in like two days. So if you're trying to add a little color to your wardrobe that you want and just need to knit up something quick, this is a really great hat to do that. And then on the bottom, I have the um, 
Trousers by Birgitta Helmerson from her book Zero Waste Patterns. And I actually just finished these up this last week as well, and I absolutely love them. I intentionally made them a bit longer because the last couple pairs of pants that I've made have been cropped and I just wanted to switch it up with a longer pant. I also like the look of the longer pants kind of pooling on the ground around your feet when you're wearing flats or I like how it adds a lot of length to your legs when you wear it with like a higher uh, heeled boot. So yeah, I am loving this entire look and I am going to put on a jacket for when I need to go outside and it's a bit more chilly out. This is the Sherpa line jacket that I had mentioned that I really like and it just adds a perfect cozy fall look to it. I really like this outfit too because it's a lighter take on a fall inspired outfit. Usually I tend to go really dark and moody with the colors, but this one is obviously using all lighter tones, but still giving off that fall feel in it. And I really think the hat helps with it. As well as the patterned pants. I think if these pants were just like a solid cream, they would give more of a spring vibe, but the plaid in it really sends it over to fall. I am styling these pants with a tall heeled boot. They're the Free People brand. And I love these boots. I wear them all the time in the fall because like I said, they just add so much height and they just really clean up any outfit together. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a super cute outfit to go and grab a coffee with a friend. And I could even take off the beanie and the coat and wear it as a nice outfit for work. Next up, we have The Weekender Light by Andrea Mowry. I finished this one last spring and I was able to wear it a few times in the spring, but I definitely think this one suits me for fall a lot more, mostly because of the colors used, but as well as the fiber content. This is um, half spun with alpaca, half with merino wool. So it's a very warm sweater, which is great for the cold season. I have it styled with these corduroy bell bottom pants that I got from The Gap last year. And I did look online and it looks like they have it available for this year as well. So if you really like them, you can still get them. Um, yeah, and what I really like about this pairing is the fact that the corduroy bottoms match the brown color of the sweater and so it's not competing with the color changing throughout the sweater it really highlights the color changing fiber and i think that's super fun i also paired it with a matching jacket that i also got from the gap so the colors match correctly with each other and I think it's just a fun like solid tonal piece but in a darker aspect compared to the lighter that I wore before. Um, I'm not sure if this jacket is still available or not but I love it. It's super warm and again it's just nice to throw on that extra layer for when you're going outside. The shoes that I paired with this I decided to go with a flat because like I mentioned before, I like the way that pants kind of pool on the ground. And these are the only black flats that I had available. I would like to get a pair of ballet style like slingback flats. I think they really just enhance a lot of outfits and really like make it a bit more chic. But I also think this outfit would look cute with like a black pair of cowboy boots to give it more of a Western vibe and take it a little bit away from the 70s vibe. Um, I just don't have a pair of black cowboy boots, <laughs> but I think it would be really cute with that as well. This outfit is featuring the Lanark sweater designed by Rebecca Clough. 
I was actually one of the testers for this sweater and I finished it last spring, which is why it's giving a little bit more of a springy color. But I do like the idea of bringing in unexpected colors into fall and accessorizing it the right way to really like bring out that fall season. Um, this is a super comfy sweater. I got so much wear out of it, and that's why I wanna make sure that I'm able to wear it in the fall because again, it's just warm and cozy and I want to wear it for sweater season. I also am pairing it with this beanie here. Um, I did not make this beanie. It's really old back when I worked at H&M. Um, but it's a great beanie, so I'm still gonna get use out of it and wear it. And I think it kind of incorporates the lighter color of the skirt to the hat very well to kind of give it some balance to the overall outfit of it. But one way that I'm going to really make this outfit a bit more fall is by adding a very fall coat to it. And that is this one here that I've also had for a very long time from H&M. Um, just one of the classic shacket style coats, but what I really like about it is this plaid pattern on it. I think it's really going to make the outfit more of a fall feeling look. So already it's giving a very fall feeling to it, and I like the slight power clashing of the two patterns. You may not be able to notice, but with this skirt that I'm wearing, it's um, a very light yellow and white gingham pattern, and then I am clashing it with this plaid pattern. But I think the bold pattern on the jacket with the slight pattern on the skirt is just the right amount of balance so it's not just overpowering the eye. Speaking of the skirt, this is one that I finished this summer from, it's the tiered skirt from Birgitta Helmerson's Zero Waste Patterns book. Pretty much everything that you're going to see that I've sewn here is from that book. Um, and yeah, I really like it. And again, it's kind of got a spring summer feel to it, but since I just finished it, I really want to wear it this fall. So I'm trying really hard to see how I can make it more of a fall outfit. And I think with these pieces, it really does work, especially if I add a certain pair of boots and a bag that will really just tie it all together. The boots I'm wearing are actually some steel-toed boots that I had to get for work. Um, they're from the Kodiak brand, but I wanted to make sure I got a pair that I could wear with outfits too, because why not? Um, but yeah, I like the look of them, especially paired together with this bag. The two colors kind of bring everything together and warm up the outfit a little bit. I feel like this outfit definitely is giving like milking cows in the fall. Um, I think I was inspired by one of my best friends, Elena, who milks cows for a living. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for with this one. It might not be appropriate so much for work in an office setting, but definitely getting coffee with friends or going to a fiber festival or a craft fair outside, I think this is a super cute outfit. For outfit number four, I wanted to include a different type of sweater, so I chose a vest. And this is a vest I've been wearing a lot. Again, I finished it in the spring. I feel like a lot of these things you're seeing here, I finished knitting in the spring, and I'm excited to wear it for fall now. But this is the textured vest by Helga Isager, and um, I knit this when I hosted the Vest Friends Make Along that we had again in the spring. But yeah, I also wanted to incorporate the dark greens in this outfit. I don't have a ton of dark green. That's definitely something that I realized I need to add more of into my wardrobe because it is a color that I absolutely love. And I decided to do that by using this dress that I sewed this summer, again from Brigitte Halmerson's Zero Waste Patterns book. It's a great book. I swear I'm not sponsored. I just love everything in there. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a spaghetti strap dress, but the nice thing with dresses is you can make them look like skirts by layering over the top. And I actually have a little bit of a trick 
to kind of make it a little more realistic, um, I just put a belt around my waist and then I tuck the sweater into it and that gives the appearance that it's a skirt and you're just French tucking it instead of just letting a sweater flop over the top. I just think that looks a little undone and messy. Um, but yeah, this turtleneck that I'm wearing is just one that I got from H&M way back in the day when I worked there. It's just like a cotton knit turtleneck. Um, and then I have this crossbody bag that matches the skirt perfectly. This was actually my grandma's. Um, I don't know the brand of it, but it's really old. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting over the crossbody bag uh, look. I think mostly because I just see it everywhere, but it really did work really cute with this outfit, how the green matched the green skirt. So that's why I incorporated it today. And this is really good if you're going to like a little folk concert or something and you just need a small bag with you. It is a good option and a good way to wear it. And I just have the steel toe boots from Kodiak again with this outfit because I thought the tobacco color of the boot matched this turtleneck perfectly and yeah. But I think this outfit could easily go very like academic too if you swapped the boots out for a pair of loafers and maybe a different bag. That would be another really cute way to style this. I just don't own any loafers currently, so that's why I didn't choose those. But yeah, I really like this one. This is nice for like a warmer fall day. I know like a lot of times you make plans to go apple picking and then it ends up being 90 degrees, but you still want to look very fall. This is very easy breezy, um, again, for a warm day. This final look here is definitely probably one of the most dressy ones that I have today. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I included a shawl. I am pretty new to wearing shawls. This uh, I have made two so far, and it's definitely a garment that I want to explore more because it's not really one that you can find in the stores. It seems like pretty much only knitters are the ones who are able to wear shawls and I think that's really cool. It's kind of like something we have for ourselves. <laughs> um, but they can be tricky to style sometimes, so I'm trying to explore different ways of how to style the shawl. So today I am wearing this one. This is the Soda Bosque shawl um, and I again finished this last spring <laughs> and it's just in this deep brown color and I thought it would look really nice paired with this long black Henley dress that I got from Old Navy last year but I was just in Old Navy a couple days ago and I saw that they still have this available in case you want to go grab one for yourself. But anyways, yeah, I really like this long sleeve and just this draped over. I have a belt around my waist and have the shawl stuck just into the belt and I pull it out a little bit to give it a little bit of an overlap and I think it looks really nice. I do like the way that this shawl is a little asymmetric. It might not be everybody's taste to wear it this way, but for some reason with the asymmetry, it makes me feel like I own an art gallery or something. Like I feel very chic in this outfit here. If wearing like this is not your jam, you can always go the old fashioned route where you just take one end and wrap it back like that and then take the other end and wrap it around like such. <laughs> and this also gives a very chic vibe too. And this way is really nice if you're walking outside and you really just need to cuddle up on something. So here's the other way that you can wear it. But I think for this particular outfit, I really like having it tucked into the belt here because I also like showing off the buttons of this Henley, so it kind of highlights that as well. 
I am wearing this outfit with some tall black heeled boots. Anytime I feel like I'm bordering a little too frumpy and that's not really the look that I'm going for, I always try to add height to any outfit. So a heeled boot with like a chunky heel is such a good way to go. Um, especially with a chunky heel, they're a lot more comfortable to wear for the long run. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got these, I think just at Target last year. They're just a simple shiny black boot that kind of elevates any outfit that I have. That is all the outfits I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below which outfit is your favorite. And if you like this style video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to make these in the future, maybe for every season. I had a lot of fun. I now have all my outfits planned for the week, which is awesome. And I hope you got some inspiration to style your knitwear as well. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you all here. If you're new, consider subscribing and you won't miss out on any future content. In the meantime, I hope you are enjoying your fall and you have a good rest of your week. Talk to you next time.